Redditors who are married to Karens. How is it like? Not married to one, but my aunt is. My uncle is this soft-spoken giant. He never stands up to her in any way. Except once, at their daughter's wedding, she was about to interrupt the ceremony to close a window because she was chilly. Everyone sitting close could hear her whisper, I am going to do it. But I don't want to be an My uncle, in a calm quiet tone says quickly, why stop now? Almost as if his filter just missed this one. I swear I could hear my dad snort two rows back trying to hold in laughter. Karen was not happy. Haha ha, that's great. My mom's a Karen. She is self-aware she is a Karen my siblings and I sent her memes about it. When my stepdad divorced her last summer we were all amazed he lasted 17 years to be honest. None of us like going out with her it's terrible and my husband just straight up tells her no you aren't talking to the manager when we go in a place. I'll tell you guys a story my step told us, they are farmers and own a small beef and bee farm. They have a store they go to for bee supplies. The owner called my stepdad and asked him to please be the one to pick up their stuff because his staff was tired of dealing with my mom. He is the only one who went to the store for the next five years. My mom is a Karen. She thinks the world is supposed to cater to her. Serve her and everyone else is wrong. Once we went to Carl's Jr. She ordered four burgers, for the four of us. She pulls one out of the bag while the guy is getting our drinks and hides it. She complains that he forgot a burger. She pulls them out one by one and counts it in front of him. It's obviously missing because she hid it and he's swearing up and down he put them all in the bag. I'm stunned speechless and it happened so fast. She got a free burger. And laughed as we drive off. I am just staring at her and she opens it up to eat it on the drive home. And she ate her actual burger like the fifth one never existed. I can't even explain how she is when she's in the hospital. She treats it like a luxury stay in a hotel. Wow. My condolences. To everyone who has to interact with her. My best friend married the Karen of Karens. She's the absolute worst. She's mean and rude to everyone. Me. Him. Our Facebook friends. Wait staff. Everyone. Even her kids. Their disposition when she's around changed completely. A few of us have subtly pointed things out to him and he always says everyone is overreacting or something to that effect. So, one day over beers, I finally told him how we all felt. He begged me to. I laid it out clearly and concisely. Gave him concrete examples, and explained to him why none of his friends will ha G out with him anymore. He agreed, cried, was apologetic but shocked that it was as bad as it was. And that was the last time he and I hung out. Three years ago, we worked together, so I see him all the time. And we're polite and friendly but our friendship is ruined. I hate his wife and I hate Karen's. Coworker of mine is married to a Karen. He tells us stories multiple days a week how she drives to four different grocery stores and harasses the employees because their stock is low on the specific item she wants. Married to one. She doesn't get why people think Karens complain so much. It's annoying for her and she'd like to talk to someone about this. My husband's ex is Karen. She a classic narcissist. When one of our feral hens started acting aggressive towards other hens, my stepson named her Karen. My sister is a Karen. Everyone feels so sorry for her husband. Everything is his fault. He is treated like a slave. She only addresses him by yelling. She constantly insults him. We have no idea why he hasn't divorced her or flipped out and attacked her. We have all told her to cool it and her response is that he's just so stupid. I could go on and on but my sister really is a horrible person. Not married but dated a male Karen for eight years. He was a semi-successful business owner who was twice my age and I was young and dumb for a lack of a better word. The gist of our relationship was him trying to take over every part of my life. For instance he would order for me at restaurants and would dissuade me if I wanted to try something new. If I had a problem with something it would be brushed off but if he had a problem then he had to talk to a manager. Not knowing any better I just thought he was very particular and even started copying some of his tendencies like speaking up when I felt I wasn't getting the right service when I was out on my own. 
I realized who he was when we were flying back from Vegas and our luggage was heavier than when we flew in. Obviously we'd bought extra things which made up for the weight difference so as he demanded to know an explanation from the check-in clerk as to why if it was the same luggage would it somehow weigh more. I innocently answered that it must have been the extra shoes and clothes. He was quiet and paid up. Later he told me to not to do that again as he knew the reason why the luggage was heavier he was just trying to get away with not paying. At that moment a bulb went off in my head. This man who'd spent $1,500 on a stripper for his friend was making an already stressful job more stressful for the clerk in order to avoid paying $60. We broke up soon after and I checked myself on the Karen tendencies he'd rubbed off on me. Greater than a male Karen what should we call them? Darren, Ken, Cody, Kyle, Carl, Kareem, the first name that came to mind was Tyler and I apologize if anybody is named Tyler in here. Not married to one. But mom was a major Karen back when I was growing up. Mom can we just go, was my favorite question. Then the apologetic nod as we leave the store. My ex-wife is a Karen. In every sense but name. It was always so embarrassing. She was incapable of treating anyone like a human for the most trivial of occurrences. It was hell for me. As a person that's pretty forgiving and don't seek out confrontation. So in a one-word description it was hell. Lol p. S. She's very codependent and jumps from relationship to relationship these days. Not surprised. Not the married to one. But my mom's a Karen. Literally overreacts to everything. Whenever something doesn't go her way you guessed, gotta speak to the manager or whoever is in charge. Sometimes really embarrassing to go out in public with her because she'll just yell at the service workers for the smallest of things. Also she has a bob cut. My mom was a Karen for a while. She literally didn't realize it until my brother and I started calling her out on it when we were early teens because we're embarrassed. She made genuine efforts to change, and a few years later was the sweetest women you ever meet. Just saying there's hope. My mom is a Karen. Not fun. I think she was part of the reason the girl I loved left because whenever she was around my mom behaved much better and put on a nice face. We argued frequently about my relationship with my mom. Hurts a lot. Don't think I can fully let this one go. My mom did this with my friends. Everyone always said how amazing and funny she was. But behind closed doors it was hell. I couldn't convince anyone else otherwise. Don't think there's any Karen's husbands on Reddit. They're probably all on Facebook. Or divorced. Not married to a Karen. But married someone with a Karen for a sister. Sill is the freaking worst. I hate more than anything going out to dinner with her. Listening to her order food and talk to the servers. Holidays are also terrible. She sends out long lists of expected gifts list. She celebrates every holiday and birthday specifically for presents even when it not appropriate. Funny thing is one time I was away from the dinner table when the bill came and Sil waited for me to return to pay the bill by actually handing it to me. She didn't give it to her sibling, my so or pay her half. But expressly handed it to me to pay. By the way, her husband is an idiot and they are a match made in heaven. I knew from the beginning that there would be difficulties but I loved her and made the leap to make her my forever partner. Yes. Her attitude towards certain people and things confused me at times. But by keeping an open mind and accepting her for who she was. Everything has worked out well. We've been married for 10 years. We have a darling daughter. And I've even come to love my wife's kimchi fried rice. Karen not Korean edit, I didn't mean this as a joke and my dull bum literally thought the guy read it wrong. I'm very confused how I got more attention than the op but thanks I suppose. Soulmates not soulmates. It is the absolute best I love my wife edit, I didn't write that. Blink twice if you're being held captive edit, he seems to be held captive. He's under quarantine. I taught my nephews, ages 9 and 11, about Karen's last year when they stayed with us for a week after school let out. After describing traits and observing them in the wild. They asked somewhere around day 2. Is our mama Karen? My reply, you words. Not mine. Single quote. Not marred to one, but my mom is absolutely one. 
I spend most of my time with her in public apologizing to people after she's walked away. The one and only time it comes in handy is when I've bought cars and had her come in during the price negotiation phase, she's knocked off thousands purely due to how unpleasant she is and how much people want her to just get the hell out of the door. Looks like we found the original purpose for Karen's. My life has been a living hell. The number of times I have had to intervene to save the life of a customer service rep over Nichols is insane. I've asked for divorce now just a couple weeks ago. Guess how that went over? Stay strong. Lawyer up. Bury gold in a place only you know where it is. Prepare for war. But good on you. Engaged to one. She was raised as a princess by here military raised father. However she's super down to earth but god forbid you work in the service industry and mess something up. She worked at IHOP during college so it humbled her compared to her family. She just writes reviews now, good or bad, and emails corporate to complain. If something is wrong with my food she refuses me to sit there and eat it. Which I hate but I have gotten her better about it, I believe. So maybe she is just a recovering Karen at this point.